Morning. So let's finally, finally make the video on power. And I don't know if anybody remembered or cared or what the fuck ever. Hopefully you were wandering around trying to figure out what you can't fucking think your way into, trying to figure out what you already know you can't figure out. And that's the, that's the game of the whole fucking thing. While we are patient, let the signs and, and that whole story be revealed. It's funny how that was always the truth and everybody fucking knows it. But um, getting to power, let's see if if this can be done easily. It's kind of one of those things where, uh, like music or something, like music theory. Oh, it makes so much fucking sense until you try to talk about it. Then you realize how fucking confusing, confusing this shit is. So let's see if we can make this easy. And I put, and I probably should have brought up that um, the clip that was linked Schindler's List about power and what it comes down to, and what it says in that clip without saying it is it's an illusion. Now we also have power as in electricity. You know, you turn on the fucking light switch. It's always. Um, important to remember that the not everything's fucking fantasy and shit and what we're about to deal with is the real um oh i can't even fucking think of what it, it's the law of attraction and i guess i'm gonna make this video longer with me rambling on because i discovered everybody the the huge majority of just everybody is under the impression that the law of attraction is somehow, um, I if I keep on thinking for something, like a wish almost, or, or I'm, there's all kinds of shit we could say about it. You know, I'm going to meditate on it or think real hard about um, getting wealth. It's always wealth in this area. Um, for Christians, it would be praying for a new car and then... Um, a bunch of shit about that. None of that is the law of attraction. That is, uh, that's just taking advantage of us with our own egos, where we're willing to do and believe stupid shit to cut corners and cheat and all that. It's a, the, this whole entire game is based on us cheating and then thinking we're somehow going to get away with it and all that. You know, now I'm just fucking rambling on. But getting to power, let's make this really, really easy. And we can understand it from pretty much any position. If we're an atheist, let's say this red dude's the atheist, and we got the Christian right here. The atheist already knows how to put the Christian in the box to force the christian in the box with all the everything of christ bastardizing it this is just one form and everybody knows this because everybody's done it it's an illusion power is an illusion it's all about taking advantage of the christ and it's done in a way where this person, this person pushes and pushes because they know that you will keep on trying to defend and defend and defend until this person finally gets you to about this fucking small and going, you know, well, you don't follow Christ exactly, and you're a hypocrite like this, and you and the person will be right, as they will be in the trees of good and evil, the trees of good and evil at the same fucking time. This game goes on no matter who the fuck you are, no matter who you, <laughs> where you live. It's a power play, but it's a game of bluffing. It's almost it, it's almost impossible to describe. It's a thing of where 
every single person knows what I'm talking about. Now, where you guys lose, straight out tell you how you lose this game every single time. And it really has to do with um, how everybody would look at me and go, well, you know, I, just, I wouldn't do it the way Mac does it over there. And you, know, you think you're so fucking smart do it, you know, with that shit. Let me show you why you lose with all of that. This person, the only thing they have is to put you in the Christ box. <laughs> the Christ box. You're gonna um you're gonna do like hey, you better do it like Christ, and then the person gets you fucking um <laughs> as their slave, as their puppet. You're trying to defend Christ and teachings and all kinds of shit that you don't fucking know, that I don't fucking know. Nobody knows the fucking totality, and this person forces you <laughs> to defend it all and and once again, please take this into every single area of your life. It doesn't matter which end you stand on. It, and it, the funny shit is, I'm using the analogy of like the atheist right here and the Christian. The Christians do it ten times fucking worse to every fucking buddy. They turn it around and paint it a different fucking way. Everybody takes this same exact game that in, in the core of it, 100% of it is about Christ. It's about the perfection within you, everybody being blind of it, all, all of us playing a game of it. When you stop trying to defend, because what you're trying to defend is your ego and your greatness and shit, when we're all supposed to learn this together, when you stop defending and defending, this person loses their power over you. That's what ends up happening 100% of the time. The, if this person gets you in the Christ box, hey, you better do it. Hey, you're not exactly like Christ. You're a hypocrite just like everybody else. Did. And then you start trying to defend that, which means you're now participating in the trees of good and evil. You're going to get confused as a motherfucker and you're going to lose. And it's how you lose all the fucking time. When you take, when this person, they already have played this game a million times, you take the same fucking game that they play, and then you turn up the heat on them. They never see it coming because the, this entire game, no matter who you are, no matter what situation, it all relies on you trying to defend when you, uh, the best defense is an offense. When you stop get when you fucking throw away that defense and go on offense, you'll find out this motherfucker, the only thing they had was their <laughs> offense, which was never a fucking offense. It was the same exact mocking of Christ. And it's why that teaching exists to show us exactly this shit. <laughs> exactly. This shit. The mocking of Christ is exactly to teach us this game and how to beat it and the, the whole fucking thing. So there's a much longer video than I could have made on power and, and all that. This is exactly how it works. This same, now understand if you can see it now, this is a push and a pull, a magnetic push push and a pull. It's also opposites attract. This is the real fucking, and I, now I forgot the fucking, the, I, oh, I forgot it again. It's the law of attraction. Who gives a fuck about these names and shit? If you don't know how it fucking works, you're just going to think, oh, I'm supposed to, how, uh, what do they do? They put a bunch of sticky notes everywhere so that you remember it. Hey, I, I, Better not forget that I'm supposed to be thinking all the time about how magically some fucking new car is going to appear or I, I'm just going to get a bunch of money just out of fucking... No, no, it works like this on power, but it's an illusion. It's the taking the kingdom of God and making the broken fucking mirror of it where instead of all of us being friends in the Christ, we're all using the Christ to beat each other down, to understand 
the way God does it, just flip this around into the correct version where we don't have any problems anymore and they're all fucking solved by the Christ. So there's my way too fucking long video.